Flat and elongated particles of coarse aggregate. This ASTM D4791. This is a simple test to run. And as you see here, this is our flat and elongated apparatus. So you may be wondering to yourself, why do we care why we have flat and elongated particles in our pavement? Well, this is a flat and elongated particle. And if you think about it and look at it, these tend to be very brittle and break real easily once they're put into pavements. So that's why we do not want them in our pavements because they will not stand up and last. Uh, if they make it through an asphalt plant, they'll probably get broken by the roller or they may, may even also get broken up while they're going through the plant. So that's why we run this test to make sure we do not have a lot of these particles in our pavement mixes. So the apparatus, you can run at different ratios. It's a two to one ratio, a three to one ratio, or a five to one ratio. Depending on the agency, depends on the ratio, the, the ratio that they use. What I'm gonna demonstrate here is the apparatus <clears throat> set up at a five to one ratio. And the way you change the ratio is just take the screw out and put it in uh, the ratio you need to test. But as you can see, this one's set to run a five to one ratio. Test is easy to run. You take one of your particles, put it in lengthways, and line it up, and that's your length. And then you flip your particle over on its side to see the, the thickness. And if it passes through, like this one does here, we consider this flat and elongated. And I would make a pile for flat and elongated. Same way with this particle here. Put it in lengthways, turn it sideways to its thickness. If it slides through, then it's considered flat and, elong uh, flat and elongated. As you see this particle here, again, length. And as we see, this one does not pass through. So that would be considered non-flat and elongated. And that's what we tend to look for. We want particles that are not flat and elongated because they tend to be stronger and more durable particles.